okay, Mama. Besides some stuff. Just yes, but food no. Because I'm afraid that I might puke if I try to eat anymore. Me too, Dad. But the food was delicious, Mom. No thanks, Mom. I feel that to the brain. All I want to do now is to sleep. Alright. You heard, Mom. No playing with your tablets or I'm going to tell. In fact, they should not play with their tablets until that bite mine. Right, Mom? Alright. Well, thanks, Dad. Guys, did you hear that? I'm gonna get my phone. Hey, we heard, we heard. Oh, she's gonna get her.
towards it and you set your mind to it. Yes, Mom. So, little princess, what do you want to be? Mom, Mom, I like the idea of flying to different countries in the world. So, I think I want to be a pilot, although I'm still considering it. Why? Well, planes do crash, don't they? I don't want to die in a plane crash, so, and I decide to choose something less risky. Mano, you're not serious. <laughs> Did you hear her? And I decided to choose something that's risky. Oh, children. Oh, wh where is Daniel? Um, I think he's still sleeping. He can't still be sleeping by this time. That is very unlike him. Well, that was before that bought his phone and the new tablet, remember? You know what? I'm going to have to put some restrictions on the use of tablets and phones in this house. Go on, make it up. calling you. Daniel, did you hear me? I'm sure you were playing with your tablet all night. That's why you slept so late. Wake up, your breakfast is ready. Daniel, did you hear me? If this is a joke, stop it now. Daniel, you're scaring me. My God, Daniel, you greeting. You are so cold. Mommy! 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 Daniel is not breathing. We need to check up on him. What, Daniel? Okay, yeah, don't. Hey, son, your sister ran to your mom. I mean, your sister Amanda. Telling her a story that you ain't breathing or something. It's true. It wasn't just a story I made up. Well, isn't it obvious that you must have been dreaming because here I am. Oh, wait, maybe it's her imagination running away with her. That's a lie. I know what I saw. Um, you know, you need to really stop. She was really worried about you. She ran into the kitchen to complain to me, so stop it.
why? So you can continue to laugh at me and be me. Oh, not that, little sis. But you must admit, that was really funny. I'm sure you must have thought Daniel was dead. And so what? Was I wrong to be concerned for my brother? And as such, I do not need your concern, nor your tears, or your love. You are being so mean to me, Daniel, and that's unfair. But don't you worry. I'll try never to worry about you ever again. I mean, there was no need to hurt her more. Like she said, she was only being concerned for you. Well, I do not need her concern. Not hers or anybody else's. Daniel, what's gotten into you? Anyway, I'm just going to leave you here. Can be grumpy for all I care. Excuse me. Sister Blessed, I'm, I'm so happy that you could find time out of your busy schedule to come and visit us. Wow, what a beautiful place you have here, Sister Miriam. Thank you. Ah, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you remember I told you that God was about to bless you in an immense way. You see it? You did. You did. And truly your prophecy came to pass. Yes, and so shall every other prophecy that I have given you come to pass. Amen. Amen. Hi. Amen. Thank you. Let me quickly get you something to drink. <laughs> Is that right? It's okay. Daniel. Um, yes, no? Okay. Daniel, what is your problem? Can't you see we have a guest? Okay, and so what if we have a guest? Daniel, I demand that you greet her right now. <laughs> It's all right. No, 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 no. I said greet her. Sister Miriam, please. If your son doesn't want to greet me, I can always greet him. There's nothing wrong with that. Humility is a virtue, you remember. Hmm? Uh, good afternoon, Master Daniel. I hope I am welcome in your domain as I call it peace. Yes, Sister Blessing. You're welcome. And a good afternoon to you too. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. You see that, Mom? Greatness is revered in the kingdom I come from. Everybody knows their place. The servant is the key word. Now, if you excuse me. Daniel! <coughs> Daniel! Sister Nina! Please! Did you hear that? Please! Do not allow the devil to bring in the spirit of strife into the atmosphere. Came to pray and bless your home, remember? Please let him be. I will handle this case later. Okay? So I will handle your so matter later. Hmm? It's so, okay. Let me, let me get What? Give me that. What is wrong with you? How can we be crying like you're here? Playing video game. Give that back to me. Give that back right now, Mom. Pray and stop by force. Sister Miriam, what are you doing? Mom, Sister Miriam, what are you doing? Mom, Sister Miriam, You, you should never have done that, Mom. You should never have. I should never have done that. Yes. In my own house. Have a son talk back at me. Okay. <sighs> Sister Miriam, please stop. Don't do something that you will live to regret in the future. 
Daniel is but a child and children will always be children, please. What? A child that will not respect me in my own house? I will not tolerate it. Sister. I will not tolerate that insolence, not in this house. Sister Amelia, patience is a virtue, remember. Give that back. <laughs> My husband and I decided to give you this little token as our Thanksgiving. Oh, Sister Miriam, you and your husband are so generous. I pray that your pockets be replenished a hundred folds in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Uh, I want to also apologize on my son's behalf. Daniel, it's not usually like that. I don't know what came over him. Ah, Sister Miriam, your son is just an ordinary son. Your son Daniel is an extraordinary son. In fact, he has a high calling upon his life. Are you sure what you're saying? <laughs> Daniel. Am I sure? <laughs> In fact, the Lord revealed it to me immediately I saw him today. Didn't you see the way I greeted him? That was the reason. Are you sure what you're saying? <laughs> Sister Miriam. Don't you know me again? Do I play with prophecies? In fact, his act of stubbornness now is as a result of the higher powers warring with his flesh. With time, the higher powers will subdue the flesh. Then you, Sister Miriam, will see your son doing great and mighty things for the Lord. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, Sister Miriam, do not forget to do the fast in three days and read the Psalms that I gave you. Baby, you don't even want to know the kind of embarrassment I received today from that your son. And he responded with so much pride. And now, that aside, Sister Blessing started praying for the family. Daniel was busy playing video game on his iPad. He was busy playing game with his pad yes. while prayer was ongoing? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not my son. I'm telling you, I was so angry, I had to even slap him. So I had to slap him. Daniel. His, his insolence is becoming too much these days, though. Do you know he walked out on me? Chuckled and walked out on me. Daniel. While I was complaining, Sir Blessing was like, no, it's because of the call of God he has upon his life. That his, his spirit is busy warring with his flesh. I don't even know what that means. Call. Daniel has a call. Huh. Daniel. That's what she said, though. He has a call. Well, call or no call, that is not an excuse for him to, I mean, to misbehave or act the way he did. Exactly. He's getting out of hand. You've been scratching this hand ever since I came here. No, no, it's just itching me. I was thinking that maybe when I use a bar or something, I'll just stop scratching. to your mother. How dare you? How dare you disrespect your mother? And the woman of God? How could you? I should think I taught you better, son. I'm sorry, Dad. Better. Now go and apologize to your mother and prepare an apology for Sister Blessing. The next time you see her, make sure you apologize to her. Is that quick? 
Is that clear? See what, Mom? Uh, I saw an animal walking across a shadow. Mm -hmm. You're serious? A beast? Yes. Uh, are you sure you're not seeing things? I am not seeing things. I know what I saw. My advice to you is that you go consult a doctor because you seem to be coming up with something. I am not coming up with anything. Don't talk to me like that. Okay. Anyways, my dad told me to come and apologize to you for my rude behavior yesterday. Really? So if your dad hadn't asked you to apologize, you wouldn't have apologized? Mom, this is me trying to tell you that I'm sorry. Accept the apology while it's forthcoming. And please don't try to put words into my mouth. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Are you mad? I'm your mother. Who do you think you are? In me. Sorry, mommy. But it's really bad. Don't you think you should go to the hospital? Yeah, I didn't know it was serious, so I thought it was something that would just go. Would it have come from? We're in the heart of the city, remember? Then we can't totally exclude the possibilities. I, I just hope it has nothing to do with being beaten by a scorpion, okay? Well, then what else could it be? I mean, your arm looks like it's swollen by the minute. Right. Uh, Amanda is right. I think you should call Dad to take you to the hospital. I mean, you can't possibly drive with this arm. Mm. Um, go and tell um, Daniel. Mommy, you know you can actually purchase a time using your bank account. Even on your phone. It's that easy. Go on, I don't mind We all know she doesn't like to start the money. Are you girls even serious? You are making fun of me. But I'm going to do what I said to Joe. Quickly.
I had some chance. I could have sworn I had chance coming from here. Uh, are you even serious? Yes, stop standing and get her from! Amanda, where is your phone? What is it? should be in the As soon as I could. So what are they saying now? And that he's running some tests, but he thinks that it, it, it might be out of the impact of the heat and she hits her head. What is happening? I don't know. Oh, Goodness. Shh. Shh. I don't know. Shh. Said she fell and hit her head in your son's room. Yes. They were playing and she What was your son doing when you found her? Well, we heard like loud rumblings. And then when we got there we saw him praying. Praying for her. Praying for her. Yes, he was actually speaking in tongues. Sister Miriam, there are tongues and there are tongues. But Sister Person, you're the same person that told me that Daniel has the call of God on him. Or has anything changed? <laughs> All I am saying is that you be careful and more prayerful. Let me see your hand. It looks like the venom is festering. It's amazing that you'd use that word. My daughter seemed to think that I was beaten by a scorpion. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Something like that. But you know, your son, he could heal you. Daniel? Yes, Daniel. Um, you could at least start by apologizing to him for that embarrassing slap you gave him in my presence. I should apologize to my child for correcting him. How does that even work? Ah, Sister Miriam, if only you could see what I see with my spiritual eyes, you will hastily do as I say. Your life the life of every member of your family is in danger. And Daniel, your son, is the key. You don't even know what a great prophet lives amongst you. Greater is he more than Elijah. Daniel. Your Daniel. Of 
but where else would he be? If you must know more, Daniel hardly comes out of his room for anything. And that's not fun at all. yourself and from the look of things I see you very engrossed with playing games Amanda is in the hospital Anita is all alone in the house and you know she needs company because she's alone and she's bored at least sometimes just try and go play with her a little I don't see why I have to Anita is a girl girls are stupid and boring Daniel, I believe I taught you better than that. You have two sisters. How can you say that girls are stupid and boring? That is a very wrong thing to say. Do you understand? All right, Mom. I'm sure you didn't come here to give me lectures on how to respect girls. So tell me, what do you want? <clears throat> Danny, I believe you're like this because... I hit you the other day. I am sorry. Wait a second, Mom. Are you apologizing to me? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have slapped you. You're a big boy. I probably embarrassed you in front of our guest. I didn't mean it. Have no fear, Mom. Your sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. <laughs> Daniel! The kind of words that come out of you. Shh. Well, Mom, your arm pretty looks infected. Yes. You know, Sister Blessing actually thinks that you have the power to heal me. Can you just come and give me my breakfast and my money kiss before I go out for work? Oh, babe. Yeah. It's morning already. I didn't even realize it. I know you will know. You know, this is the first time you're sleeping since you had a injury without waking up in pain. <laughs> this is a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Yes. You healed. I can see you went to see that woman, right? Yes. You did? I did, and she told me that our son Daniel had the power to heal me. And from the look of things, it worked. Daniel has the power to heal you. That is to say, Daniel healed you. Yes. I went to him, and he laid hands on me. You mean Daniel said that to you? I'm telling you. 
my son is, is he has powers you know we, we have an elijah in our midst and he's my son and he's in our house my god uh, this well, is amazing is it daniel <laughs> then that speaking in tongues thing that is understandable but daniel having healing powers well i'm sorry if i don't believe you mm -hmm. right Doubting Thomas. Oh, well, you will do me good if you don't take my children to this church and um, I mean, miracle house. Because none of my children, none of my children is going to be a pastor. Okay? None of them. an extraordinary son. In fact, he has a high calling upon his life. Are you sure what you're saying, Daniel? Am, am I sure? In fact, the Lord revealed it to me immediately I saw him today. Didn't you see the way I greeted him? That was the reason. All I saw was you trying to warn the woman about the impended doom. Are you trying to betray the Almighty? No, oh, the Almighty One, no. I never thought of that at all. Hmm. Collins betrayed the Almighty, and judgment has befallen him and his family. I am the devourer, sent to bring calamity upon the household, and nothing can stop me. Try not to interfere again. Yes, yes, the Almighty One. Yes, sorry. And let this be the last time I shall warn you. The Almighty rewards betrayers with death. And again, remember, a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. Do you hear me? Yes, the Almighty One. Father Lord, I come before you, full of grace and of mercy, acknowledging that we have all sinned and come short of your glory. The Lord. If there is any way that my family has offended you, knowingly or unknowingly, I ask, oh God, that you have mercy and forgive us our sins. I decree, oh God, that there shall be no death in my house. I pray that you take care of my daughter and restore her. Is there any new development in her case? What does that mean? Doctor, she hit her head on the wall. Isn't that reason enough? Are you saying that that you don't even know why she's like this? 
Are you? Is she going to die? She's in coma, yet she will not wake up. The doctor even thinks it's spiritual.
It was it was the uh, story. Totally gross. That Aisha Amanda hasn't started sleepwalking. I mean, she's taken to walking up all night and seeing things too. Shut up. Shut up, Daniel. I wish I hadn't told you. I wish you hadn't too. I mean, I can't live with the fact that my sister still pees in her pants at her age. Will you just stop it, Daniel? I'm sure if you had seen what I saw, then you would have peed in your pants too. Well, now we both know who's it, don't we? You're lucky Amanda wasn't here or she would have laughed you silly. Dad, Dad, you better mm -hmm. warn Daniel or else I would give him a dead slap. What? You what? You don't want to try that or you'll see what I'll do to you. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, Dan. I think you're going too far now. Alright? I mean, you should sympathize with your sister and not mock her. Sympathize with her? But dad, isn't it obvious that she's been seeing things? Imagine or not. Your sister had a harrowing life. At least you should be nice to her. Alright, dad. Now, you guys should stop fighting, alright? I don't want to come back from work and um, find out that you guys have torn yourself into pieces. Stop fighting. Okay. Um, I need to baby. Don't forget to boil some rice and uh, microwave this too before your mom gets back, okay? All right, Dad. All right. Um, Dad, um, can I go visit my friend next door? I mean, it's been boring being cooped up at home. Well, you can, but make sure you bring your mom and Kelly. You can make your sister the house.
Yeah, hold on a second. My last hope, my last hope, everything, everything that I have. I'm losing everything, I'm losing everything so fast. I'm losing everything by the day, everything that I have. What, what have I, what, 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 what have I done? What have I done? What haven't I done? I'm not dedicated, Christian. I, I sow seeds to the church, I pay my tithes. I even built an altar. I built an altar in the name of my own children. My own children. What have I not done, God? What have I done? What have I done to me? My, 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 my daughter is in coma. And everything is a plus. Everything. Everything ever can. Everything ever God, you owe me! All I ask of you is to protect me and my family and my entire family. That was all I asked from you, What is it again? Thank you. 
Are you saying that it is my fate to bury my child? Are you saying that God bestowed this kind of fate on me? What kind of a God does that to his children? Sister Miriam, please, do not blaspheme God. Don't you dare ask her not to blaspheme God. Don't ask her not to. A God that will sit and watch innocent children be killed? Circumstances, the need for a spiritual covering cannot be downplayed. Especially the very bad feelings I've been having since, since I walked into this house. Bad feelings. What bad feeling are you talking about? You may not believe me, my daughter, but there is an evil aura around this house. The feeling is too much. I Stop it. Don't scare me more than I already am. I am not trying to. All I'm saying is that we need to pray fervently so that the arms of the wicked one 
You shall be broken from your house. Colleagues, colleagues, you 
the path to the darkness. The day you came to the brotherhood seeking for wealth. It is the darkness that made to everything you have. So indeed, you have a path to the darkness. I owe you nothing. I owe no one. I denounce the brotherhood the day you asked me to sacrifice my son, my only son. And you still want to take the only thing that gives me pride, the only thing. the burial of Brother Collins. I don't know why I'm very... or whether... whoever killed Collins, my husband, has stripped me of my strength. I don't know what we have done to that person to deserve such painful and Sister Miriam, what if this husband of yours that you are crying for is the cause of all the misfortune that befell your family? treated you fairly. That is why I have come to make amends the only way I can. Listen to me. Please, you have to save yourself. Please save yourself. Save myself? For what? The devourer. You have to save yourself from the devourer. Devourer? What are you even talking about? Sister Miriam, listen. The devourer is a demon from the underworld unleashed against your family because your husband brother Collins betrayed the secret cult he belonged to. Are you saying that Collins was in the secret cult? Yes. <laughs> oh, Sister Blessing. Please, Sister Miriam. 
please. Your husband belonged to a court called the Brotherhood of the Blood Tigers. He... Listen, you have to save yourself or else your whole family will be wiped away. The Devora, he... he, he. is of a lesser power compared to mine. You should have minded your business and stayed on your lane. I'm so sorry. It was Conglis who betrayed the king cult. He has paid with his soul. I couldn't watch you destroy Miriam. Why don't you leave her alone? Leave them alone? Indeed. The laws governing the brotherhood of the blood tigers will not just change just because you developed some human feelings. Collins committed a breach, and therefore he must pay dearly with the soul of his family. You shouldn't have meddled. You shouldn't have revealed the secret of the brotherhood to Marian. Now you must die. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Mama. You know, I promise I was coming to give my condolences to the wonderful party of an elder of the church, a dedicated member of the church, for her loss. Yes, you did very well. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, Mama. You're welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. I was shocked when Mama told me that you lost two people within the space of a month. The devil is a liar. Pastor, it is looking like the devil is taking the glory this time. God forbid! I smell a heavy veil of manipulation in this house. Something is really wrong. Something is wrong in this house. There's, some, there's a kind of darkness I see. I am... Um, 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 never mind, I... Hold on here! You child of the devil. You think you can fool me the way you feel your family? Sorry, who me? Yes! Um, Pastor, he's not the child of the devil. He's my son. Sister Miriam, do you know that this boy is possessed with the Holy Spirit and the misfortunes you'll be having in your house is a result of him? What? Are you, are you expecting me to believe that my son, Daniel, is responsible for all the things that's been happening now? Go away, Pastor! But no, even you can't believe them all. They belong to me. They are my lawful captives. Colin sold his soul and the soul of his family. Seeking for wealth and affluence. Now we fed by your husband. And not even your God. Can stop me from devouring what's mine. You lie. You will be lost without any pressure. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, which is above all other names, I command you to manifest. Amen. 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 Amen.